from corpuscle, then uh, proximal tubule, then Henle's loop, then distal tubule, then correcting duct. So, this, these are the five important things that we need to talk about. And you must know, all of these sections are having a particular functionality to perform. Among them, I have told you that collecting duct collects the urine except for that, apart for that. Rest of the part, that is the corpuscle. Corpuscle is a region. Remember, what we need to do, what we need to do, we just first talk about what we need to do before the discussion. That is filtering of blood, then uh, absorption of nutrients uh, or nutrients and water. Second thing is concentrating uh, the urine. This is the third thing, concentrating the urine. Fourth thing is collecting it. Right. So, these are the major four parts that we need to perform. Filtering of blood, reabsorption of nutrients, concentrating the urine and collecting of the urine. Four of these tasks are performed by nephron. So, the first task of filtering blood is done by using this corpuscle part. That is the uh, Bowman's capsule and glomerulus all together are performing that part. That's why remember blood vessel is there. This, this whole thing uh, is here is the blood vessel that is coming in and going out. Just a kind of pressure gradient creation. Second part or this proximal tubule is important for reabsorption of some nutrients. Very vital nutrients like uh, normal nutrients like water, sodium ion vitamins, glucose, so absorption of those. Henley's loop is doing the task of concentrating the urine and that is the, that is the most fascinating uh, stuff of all. We will be learning it. So, this cost concentrating the urine. And finally, collecting duct is there and collecting duct, the function of collecting duct is to collect it. Oh, sorry, I missed the distal tubule. The function of distal tubule is also reabsorption of nutrients and electrolytes, reabsorption of water reabsorption of sodium, reabsorption of chlorine. So, they, these things are performed here, reabsorption of water, sodium and chlorine and this part is under hormonal control, hormonal regulation. Depends upon whether you are starved or not, depends upon whether you are dehydrated or not, depends upon whether you are diabetic or not. So, all of these things are, are being performed in this distal tubule because this section is under hormonal control. So, let me write here, this is under hormonal regulation and the fifth part or the collecting duct right or collecting duct or collecting tubule whatever you can say this part is also under hormonal regulation or hormonal control uh, and this part is not having major task just collecting uh, the urines that are coming from all of this all of these different nephrons and then supply it to the uh, ureter finally release it outside so this is this is the overview of the functions of different section of nephron right so that's kind of it for this video guys so pause it back look for everything that i've told you in this the basics remember what we need to do you need to achieve and then in the future video we'll be talking about how this task is exactly achieved thank you